Let's begin by reading the question and highlighting important information. So simple interest is given by the formula A equals P plus P times RT, where A is the balance of the account after T years, so A is that future value of the account after your investment has accrued interest. P is the starting principal invested, that's how much you initially put into the account. Um, at an annual percentage rate of R, which we write as a decimal. Okay, So that's telling us what formula we use, and now here's specific information. So Cody is investing money into a savings account that pays 2% simple interest, and plans to leave it there for 15 years. Now I see determine, so I'm going to get the green pen to highlight my goal. Determine what Cody needs to deposit now, so that's what we're looking for, which would be the initial starting principle. In order to have a balance of, I'm going to switch back to yellow because it says at least 40000 in his savings account after 15 years. So I changed this to yellow because this is given information um, about the future balance of the account. So this is actually given and they hadn't given it to us before. So let's write this equation and formula right up here, actually right down here. So we have A equals P plus PRT, okay? And we're given that A is the balance of the account after T years. So I'm just going to write down everything we're given. And here it says to have a balance of at least 40,000. So I'm going to put 40,000 and then in parentheses, I'm going to write at least. So this is going to be an inequality, not an equation, um, because it wants at least 40,000. He could, you know, make 50,000 or 60,000. Okay. The next letter that we have in this formula is P, which is the starting principle. And notice that's the part in green. That's what we're looking for. Determine what Cody needs to deposit now, which is starting principle. So this is just unknown. Okay. Next letter is R. Little r stands for an interest rate and we need to express it as a decimal and we're given 2% simple interest. So we want to write that as 0 0.02 and the next letter is T and we're given that he plans to leave it in there for 15 years. So we're going to write t equals 15. So we want the amount, which is represented by this, to be greater than or equal to 40,000. So $40,000 less than or equal to p plus prt. So when these two things are equal, so the amount is equal to evaluating this, but we want the amount to be at least $40,000. So when we evaluate this with the principle that we're trying to find, um, we want any principal values that will make this greater than or equal to 40000 So now let's put in the other values we know. Well, we don't know P, but we know R and T. So 40000 is less than or equal to P plus P times 0 0.02 times 15. Okay, so now let's look at this a little bit more. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to call this side work. So P, that really means 1P, right? 1 times P. And this is P times these numbers. Well, I can multiply these numbers and then write that as a coefficient of P. So, 0 0.02 times 15 is 0.3. So, this is the same as plus P times 0.3. Or, you could write this as 1P plus 0.3P. So now, notice these are like terms. We have 1 of something plus 0.3 of something. So the total of that is going to be 1 plus 0.3, or 1.3p. 1.3p. 
So that's how you need to simplify this side. So let's just review that one more time because I know that's a little bit tricky. So we have one of something plus that something times these two numbers. So I computed what these numbers equaled. It was 0.3. And then we thought of that as the coefficient of the second term that had p in it. So it's 1p plus 0.3p. Since those are like terms, you add their coefficients. 1 plus 0.3 is 1.3. Okay. Now to isolate p, we're going to divide by 1.3. And I'm going to do this on the calculator. So, 40,000 divided by 1.3 equals this. So I'm going to approximate this to the nearest cent for now. So 3769.23. 3769.23. Let's double check that, 3769.23, excellent. So this means that the principal you need to invest to make at least $40,000, so your future amount is uh, greater than or equal to $40,000, is $30,769.23. This value exactly rounded to the near cent is when you'd make exactly $40,000. So it's also the minimum since uh, the more you invest, the more money you'll make. Notice it says to round our answer to the nearest dollar. And because we need to exceed $40,000, at least $40,000, we're going to need to round this up. So round up. So it is greater than another way of saying at least uh, $40,000. So even though this is 23 cents and we normally round down, we're going to round this up to 30,000 and one more than 69 is 70. So the initial amount invested has to be greater than or equal to 30,770.